Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Superman Red Sun Film Review. Now, as you know, Superman Red Sun is a more recent 2020 film that is based on the 2003 Elseworld miniseries that was written and created by Mark Miller also known for making making series like Ultimate X-Men, The Ultimate, and Kick-Ass. Now, there are a lot of differences from the film that I will try and cover, and some that are a bit more of an altered version. Now, the premise of the film is meant to take place from 1946 all the way into 1983. And the premise of the movie is meant to be about Superman, who, in this film and story, instead of being raised in Kansas, is raised in the Soviet Union. And throughout the years, we kind of see how Superman learns the truth about the Soviet Union, as well as learning what his commanding officer, Joseph Sterling, is really up to. And after finding out something tragic that's happened to the people who opposed him, Superman quickly takes over the Soviet Union and tries to make things better. Which, over time, turns him more deluded, believing he's doing the right thing, even though it's clear that clear that he's becoming just as worse, worse than Sterling, and pretty much the US government have Lex Luthor to help deal with Superman, and pretty much in the film and comic book continuity, Lois Lane and Lex Luthor are married, so Lex Luthor in this film is meant to be a bit more calm and collect, he doesn't take defeat badly, doesn't really get angry, and he does kind of see Superman as a bit more of a worthy opponent. And we do see him release Superior Man, which is basically the film and comic book version of Bizarro, as well, also as well as, launch, as launching a whole army of Green Lanterns. And you can actually tell that Lex Luthor does see Superman as a worthy opponent, and does kind of see Superman as kind of an interesting specimen. And you can tell Lois Lane is at first discussing with Lex Luthor's actions, most, mostly with Superior Man, and over time you do see her kind of having doubts about Lex Luthor's plans, his actions, and so on. And I do feel the movie is meant to be a cautionary tale that sometimes the things we do or the goals we have will always sometimes get the better of us. Because sometimes we might have good intentions or believing we're making things better even though we're not. And this does remind me a lot of the typical tropes because when you kind of got the diamonds in Steven Universe, they believed what they were doing was right, even though it wasn't. When you got Foxtail in Steven in OKKO, OK she believed she was making things better, even though it was clear that she was rectifying her mistakes. And when you kind of got Patrick Zala, you can tell he believed he wanted to make a better world, but let hate and anger cloud his judgement. And there is a lot of differences from the film that differ from the comics. For example, in the comics, you already had the Red Sun version of Wivewire, Metallo, Atomic Skull and that. In this, it's implied they don't exist. And even in the, the book, it's kind of, in the comic series, it's kind of revealed who Jor-El and L Lon 
Lana are by the end of the story, and what really is Superman's actual origin. Well, in the film, it's implied that he that Superman in this film is from the planet Krypton, and even and even in the um book itself, it did kind of showed as well that there was a Lana Lang, but instead it's a completely different character with a more Russian-like name. And I would say the film isn't too bad. It has a cautionary tale that sometimes the goals you have in life will always cloud your judgement and you could always end up becoming no better than the person you oppressed. It is kind of a realistic story. So I kind of feel Superman Red Sun waved its flag and showed its story. Definitely good and definitely alright. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So Comic Reviewer here, signing out.